And in talking to kids when I was very young, I had to be very patient with them if I were to make any progress. I talked about the concept of God, your concept of God, my concept of God, and his concept of God, so different. I wonder what God is really like, or if there is a God for that matter. And why would God permit war and disease if he's all loving? It didn't make sense to me. Too many clashes. So I questioned that. Of course, I felt a little uncomfortable during questioning the concept of God. But then reading about the history and evolution of gods, there were many different gods. The God of war, the God of peace, the God of love, which was more like the people that invented them. They behaved, they got angry, they made sacrifices, they created floods when they didn't like the way things were going. And this did not come through as superior intelligence. Primitive people, going back in time, when they saw lightning, they thought that the deity was angry. Why else would it, would it not occur? When a hurricane swept the land, they got rid of certain people in their tribe as a sacrifice, hoping that the gods would not produce a second hurricane. However, if it did, it did occur again, then they sacrificed some of the younger people. Rarely would the chief sacrifice himself, but he's always got a whole line of people ready to sacrifice. So you have that problem with human beings. Anything that occurs beyond their comprehension, they have to invent an excuse for. They have to create gods and demons to account for things, because people come to the leadership of that community. No matter how primitive the tribe, they say, how come bad wind blow people off island? I said, you not behave good. You not make not enough contribution to volcano. Throw your brother-in-law into volcano. Maybe it doesn't erupt then. So if you throw your brother-in-law into the volcano and it still erupts, you have to throw your sister-in-law in. So you get metaphysics, you get religion, you get superstition, not wood, or you wear a rabbit's foot. Just remember that the rabbit had four of them. Didn't do him any good. So on down the line, superstition prevails wherever ignorance prevails.